going on guys? Going to be a little bit of a different video today. Doing a shoe review of these shoes sold by Hot Sneaker on Instagram. That's the plug. Now these are uh, these are reps. First things first, I do not condone the sale of reps as retail. These are for the toe only. Uh, don't get burned. This could be an easy way to legit check your own pair or compare. Um, this is probably like the third reiteration of uh, batches from these guys. Um, well, tell you the truth, I'm not sure which batch these are, but long story short is they got these down. I mean, these, we're not having any issues nowadays on these Mocha ones. Rep fam, you already know. Just gonna do a quick uh, deconstructed review on these. I apologize if it's not the best quality review. Gonna just have to work with me with what I got right here. Side profile on the left shoe, wing logo. Got that suede movement, it's moving like crazy. I mean, pretty sure that's more movement than retail, so. Color's pretty spot on. Um, toe box looking good, real slim, no fat toe box. Got the suede right here in the back on the heel. Wanna check that hourglass because you guys seem to care about that hourglass for some reason. That's spot on. Got the synthetic leather on the top. Real leather down here. Uh, I apologize, that might be that might be synthetic right there. I know that the swoosh is synthetic. Toe box. Toe box is real leather, for sure. Um and the or sorry, the toe cap is real leather in the toe box as well. Now let's check this uh, toe puff. Yeah, we're looking good. This is a top tier pair. I wish I knew the batch. Left profile of the left shoe or inside profile. Looking pretty good. Came with the black laces, stock DS laced like normal. Nike Air on the tongue. Looking pretty good. They even got that bottom part where usually on that swoosh it gets flattened out on reps. It's spot on. Fidelity of the tag on the inside. Looking pretty dang good. I don't see any issues. Fidelity on the screen print on the insole. Looking pretty good. I take this insole out but it's pretty glued down. I could show you the glue pattern but not gonna even bother because I know they have these down. Many people have reviewed these. I'm sure it's gonna be the exact same. So if you got a retail, it's gonna be tough to tell. I mean, don't rely on a black light first off because these do not ring out with the black light. So do not use a black light or do not solely base your um, opinion whether or not they're fake with the black light. Got the stars on the bottom. Nike swoosh in the middle. Left shoe's looking pretty dang good. Came in really good condition. A little crease right there, but I don't care because I'm going to wear them. I mean, who's even going to see that? And we got the right shoe. Looking really good. Even this black on the midsole, I mean, it's spot on. I mean, there's no touch-up paint, no glue marks anywhere. I mean, you, the the thing about these reps is you get a QC quality quality check these before they even get sent to you. So if there's flaws, you just red light it. I green lighted these or green lit, whatever you want to call it. Got the right shoe side profile, wing logo, more suede movement. Everybody loves that. Toe cap. And we got the inserts embedded in. 
That's the way they retail it or toe cap consistent. Looks just like the other one. I mean, even if they weren't in consistent, who cares? Because retail is not consistent either. You guys got to realize that this is made by someone and this material is real. So colors really shouldn't matter as long as they're not way off. How are you going to tell the difference? Retail or retail, their color differs. Nike Air on the tongue, looking good also. Tongue puff, looking good, returning to how it should be. I mean, come on guys, <laughs> come on. Inside tag, I wish I could show you it, but it's the best I can do with this tripod setup. So yeah, just a little review on these shoes. These are the Mocha Ones. Don't know if I already mentioned that, but Mocha Ones by Hot Sneaker on Instagram. 2Ks. You guys got any questions, just hit me up in the comment section. I will be doing uh, some more reviews like this, maybe hopefully a better setup. So you guys can see some higher quality reviews by me once again do not condone the selling of fake shoes for profit because it's getting scary out here nowadays don't get burned these are reps and they're spot on imitating a US release I would hate to run a consignment shop because some of these are going to get through the cracks, man. I'll tell you right now. You can't bat a thousand on these. You cannot bat a thousand on these. This is ridiculous nowadays. Anyways, guys. Oh, they did come with the off-white laces. Nothing really to your horn about. I mean, they're just some shoelaces, but got to mention it. Off-white, supposed to be up here, fell off. Back in the day, you used to be able to tell because of the lines, how many lines there are on these little baggies, but it's 2022, man. These guys got it on. Stop paying resale. It's ridiculous. I'm out.